Hey guys, Sean here. So yes, I wanted to share with you guys today a concept about relative levels of feeling trapped. Okay? Basically, this is a message to explain that no matter what situation you find yourself in, there's a way out. There is a way out. Doesn't matter how screwed up it is or how screwed up things are, there's a way out. You're really depressed. Life freaking sucks. There's a way out. It's not that either. So, no. All right. So let's do the different levels. So you can be trapped within your physical body. That would be the more extreme, the most extreme version, I, I would I would believe. Trapped in your physical body. What are you talking about, Sean? Paralyzed. You're paralyzed. Let's say you're paralyzed from the neck down. You're basically, your consciousness is trapped in a body that you can't like move. So you're trapped in the body. And some some of these examples will be obvious, and some will not. And the ones that are not obvious, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to explain the not obvious stuff. But this is a more obvious one. You will be, assuming that there's not some miracle cure, you will be released and free once the body dies. Once the body dies, you will be released and you will not be trapped any longer. Now, the next level up would be trapped within your own physical environment. You can move, your body can move, but, however, you're stuck in jail, in prison, for X amount of years. So now, you're basically living in a freaking cage, because this society is well, a little sucky, but I, I love, I love this earth, and I love the people, and everything about this planet. However, there is some shittiness that we're going to get over sooner than as opposed to later. But yes, so the whole jail, prison bullshit, yep, it's out there. But if you're stuck living in a cage, then yeah, you're in jail, you live in a cage, you can move your body, but you really don't have much freedom at all, and you're kind of stuck. You feel you're trapped in basically a room. You're trapped in a small room. And... You can get out of that by having your jail sentence end or when your body dies and then you're free. The universe is yours. Okay, next level up. You're trapped in your current circumstances. You're not paralyzed. You're not in jail. So you're, your body can move. You can move your body. You can move. You can go around. You can go to different places, different cities, different buildings, the park. The, the forest, the woods, the ocean, you can move around. But you're really, you're depressed. Life sucks. Lots of shit. Dealing with lots of crap. What's the way out? Well, I do not condone taking one's life. But, yes, when the body, again, it's like there's a common theme here. So you feel trapped. Life sucks. Yep. When you when your body dies and you are released, your spirit is released from the body. You you're, you're you're going to gain freedom, happiness, all the good stuff, right? Unless there are some people who say that the afterlife freaking sucks, but we're gonna get into that next. Bear with me. So your life sucks. You're depressed all the time. You do have a way out. When you, if you, either, either you, you're able to find peace and happiness on your own or with the help of others, or when you pass on, boom, you get out of this lifetime and you're free. You're released from the depression. Now, now I'm going to, uh, well, I'm definitely going to lose some people here, but I, I want to explain it the best I can. So there are those out there who state they have an understanding of the afterlife as also it's an extension. These are these are others who are explaining this. And there's multiple people, really knowledgeable people, and they're explaining that the afterlife is a manipulation. 
that when you die and your spirit is released from the body and then you're in the, you know, you see the light and your loved ones from the past and you're going to reincarnate and, and continue your lessons. There are those out there who say that is a manipulation. That we are being manipulated and controlled and not having the free will that we should have. And we're getting give, being given amnesia to come into these these different lifetimes. And that that whole life review, who are you going to reincarnate with next time, come back to Earth cycle, is actually under control from those who are not out for our best interests. There are those who explain that. Now, listen, I don't know if that's the case. Okay? I've... I've heard and read and have talked to others who have had near-death experiences. The whole light, the, 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 the tunnel of light after you die and all this stuff, and you see loved ones and stuff. And then, and then plenty. I've also I've researched extensively. People who have been hypnotized have been regressed to before they were born. There's that in-between state between lifetimes. Reincarnation is real, folks. That's, that's a given at this point. But the in-between life part, how free are you before you come back down, so to speak? So let's – now, I don't know if that's a manipulation or not, but let's assume it is. Let's just say for sake of argument that the reincarnation cycle, and when you die, your soul kind of gets stuck in this, this web and has to come back down, and that's a manipulation. Let's assume that's the case. You're still going to be free from being trapped in that situation because eventually you're going to wake up. Because it's all a dream. It's all a dream. All of it is. Now, when I say dream, that is an English human word that describes something that's slightly beyond words. But it is, but I that's the best word I can use in this example. You're going to wake up from the dream and return to your normal state. So let's say that the whole you see the light and you come back down to earth and be reincarnated. Let's assume that that's not a manipulation and that you are uh, have free will and are and 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 you're totally uh, uh, um, connected to everything and you have infinite wisdom in that, in that state when you die and your spirit comes out. Boom! Infinite wisdom and you choose to come down and it's not a manipulation. Well, then you're already free in that regard. But if it is a manipulation, you will wake up. What do you mean you'll wake up? It's so, that's, that's too simple, Sean. You'll wake up. That's just an, a sentence. It's a simple sentence. Look, this physical realm is a dream that your higher self, your spirit, your soul is having. Your soul has a dream, and it's the physical world. And your physical life in the physical world in this five sense reality. And when you die, poof! The dream is over, and you wake up. And all I'm saying is, it, is if, if Jay Essex and oh, some others, um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Um, but there are, are others uh, who have a similar viewpoint as Jay, where the afterlife is not all it's cracked up to be, and there's negative, a lot of negativity and manipulation out there. Um, so let's say that's true. Well, eventually, you're going to wake up from that dream too, because there's some other deeper, bigger part of you, a more of your soul. Uh, uh, some part of you that's closer to the source that's having a dream about your soul reincarnating over and over again and being stuck, you're going to wake up from that. And then poof, once you wake up from that, you have everything you could ever want. You are, you are literally heaven. Anything you want, you think, and it happens, poof, you cre can create worlds. You can create houses, landscapes, worlds, solar systems, entire universes with your thoughts, boom, and you can live infinitely in any way you want and have anything you want, relatively speaking, of course. So yes, that is a very unusual message that you have received today. 
explaining that it's going to be okay. It is going to be okay no matter how screwed up things get. There's old wisdom that says you'll never take on more than you can handle in any given moment. God will never give you more than you can handle. That's There's an old wisdom about that, and there's truth to it. I hope this makes sense and is helpful to a lot of you out there. I love you very much, and I will see you again.